Anna, congratulations. You're now in the sole lead. Before we take a look at the highlights uh, from the game, just tell me, how do you feel after that uh, win against Baby Sara? Um, good. <laughs> yes, it's always good to win as well. And uh, I believe it was an important win uh, in terms of the tournament standings and uh, the tournament overall, yeah. So, yeah, it was a difficult game. Do you want to take us through some of the important moments, the highlights of the game? Um, well, first of all, this line was d5 and g6. Uh, Bibi Sarah plays it uh, from time to time, but uh, much more often to play second more knight at 6. So I just checked it quickly. And uh, somewhere here, I think, uh, well, we should express. Well, it looks like maybe white is slightly better, but at the same time, black's position is also very solid. So um, I saw knight a5, but I also... Uh, thought about some plan like rook d8, e6, so mm -hmm. putting the knight on d5. But in case you wanted to uh, <laughs> take one of my bishops so that I don't have a bishop there, and uh, um, well, she could also wait with sticking on this way. Right? I don't know. I, I don't think it uh, changes the relation so much. And then uh, I think her main mistake was that she was trying to deviate uh, in, from this exchange and not going to the end game. I mean, there were a couple of moments. Um, <clears throat> like, I think, like, for example, after the support, I was just not being defiled. And I think I have to take, take. And OK, some line like knight d7. Uh, that's for example, I want to play knight c5, mm -hmm. but you can trade d6. If I go knight d8, he goes knight c7. And uh, I think the, it should be about equal. And there was also one more moment uh, where she didn't go for um, queen's exchange. I don't remember. Why do you think she didn't exchange queens? Um, well, because maybe she was expecting to play for some, I don't know, to create some combinations. Uh, well, actually, in the game, she managed because uh, here after b6, I made a very sophisticated move queen e3. I remember it because, okay, after queen b6, there is knight c4, right? And here I do the same, but just with the tempo last time, and I simply forgot she can take after uh, queen e2. So I was like just thinking like queen c7 or queen c6, then there is some conflict like the queen b4 and like queen g7 and knight b4 is coming. That was considered between the skill was and I don't know, I don't want to go out place holiday, I'll play queen e3. And then, you know, when I'm playing queen e3 and then, <laughs> but the pawn is playing. <laughs> and then I'm like, you're the same position. I don't think it matters so much if I take immediately or I play queen e3 and then take on the skill, but it's just, uh, there's no point to, <laughs> to give it that one. And, uh, and okay, this end game, how did you feel at the start of the end game? What was your your feeling, your evaluation? I thought uh, it would end in a draw, but uh, but I don't know. Uh, okay, I I don't know. I invented this the check uh, so that to have her king on the back rank, and then I decided, okay, I will sacrifice all the pawns to uh, If there will be a battle, okay, it will be a battle, and I think she missed this idea with queen big power on her like here after king c4 when she played g5 okay she missed but uh, the pawns and being so lost yeah because mm. there's this and there's kids and uh, uh i am faster by i think one time uh, so did you feel that queen b6 was maybe the, the no g5 was the final thing uh, like here she could still take on f2 and play something like queen d8 king b7 b6 so i mean what is this start? <laughs> we pick white with this Ah, oh, this is win? Maybe, maybe e5 instead of g5 yeah. to stop your queen d4. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely e5 on pressure. Because, okay, after g5 it's just lost. So, um, so yes, e5. e5 of queen f3, I mean. But e5 then king d5. Yeah, so we still, yeah, think, so we still think it's very strong for white. Um, queen b6, we thought maybe going passive was wrong. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Looks like a nice end game. And yeah. then, uh, actually, in that moment when she allowed uh, you to play queen d4, we saw her on the camera sort of, it was vis visible that she was, um, she had missed something. Did you notice that during the game? 
Uh, yes, even before I played Queen D4. <laughs> she just was. Were you surprised to see her reacting so strongly? Mm, no, well, when you are holding uh, 50 moves and you are expecting to make a draw, and then you don't, uh, then you obviously don't want to blunder anything. Mm. And now with that victory, you're actually the player in the tournament with the most points uh, in both sections, five out of six. I imagine you're very happy with how the first half of the tournament has gone for you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it could hardly be better, of course. And the, uh, the start was really good for me. How are you uh, enjoying being back on the Isle of Man? I am not back. It's, oh, first it's your first time. <laughs> For some reason, I expected that you always play everywhere. Yeah. So, how are you enjoying your first time I've on the Isle of Man? Played here, and uh, yeah, it's my first time on Isle of Man. Uh, well, you know, for chess players, many things depends on how their tournament goes. If it goes okay, then you're like, yeah, everything is good. But when it goes uh, wrong, that it's rainy, it's windy, <laughs> something is going wrong. Uh, so, yeah. Well, it's great to have you here. I'm going to turn to our commentators to see if they have any questions. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, Anna, the last Grand Swiss two years ago, you were commentating instead of playing. I've got to ask, which you, uh, which do you prefer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I really love commentating. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's two different directions. And, uh, well, I can't call myself as a commentator, <laughs> but, uh, but I really enjoy it. Yeah, and tomorrow it will be the free day. What will you be doing? I don't know. I don't have any plans at the moment, but uh, I'll try to walk a little bit around the city if, if the weather permits. And uh, uh, well, of course, uh, on the free day, you still prepare for your next game. So this will also be a part. <laughs> Let's hope the weather allows for some walks and for some exploring. And I congratulations again. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by and enjoy the rest of the Thank you very much.